It's 7 o'clock, and you're watching Good Day OK. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Good Day OK. I am Jasmine Anderson. And I'm Adam King. We're going to have to take a bite out of this Wednesday like Malcolm going into a cheesecake there. That was <laughs> fantastic. Now uh, I want one. He's at Camps 1910 this morning. <laughs> We're going to check in with him again in just a little bit. We also got to get to Jennifer Falsetti. Mm -hmm. He's got a great forecast we want to bite into here. Yeah, I don't know. It might not be as good as that cheesecake, though. That looked pretty fantastic. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. A gorgeous sunrise here across the Oklahoma City metro. We captured here on our Skycam network. So it, it was a beautiful start to the morning. We're going to be in store for some beautiful sunrises and sunsets as we go throughout the rest of the week. And we also have some nice temperatures, 71 degrees right now out the door in the Oklahoma City metro. We got 60s, though, for most locations, 63 in Chickasha, Watonga and Clinton, as well as Woodward. So a nice, cool, very comfortable start to your day. So it's going to be nice and cool and comfortable at the bus stop this morning. Plenty of sunshine, but warming up into the mid 80s once again by lunchtime, 91 degrees as you're picking those kids up from school. Sunny skies on low humidity once again, so slightly warmer than what we saw yesterday, but we'll have plenty of sunshine. Our temperature is running about five degrees above average, but we do have a cold front coming over the weekend that I'm tracking for you coming up here in just a bit. You look outside our pipe pass steer clear traffic update for you. There is a look at your map here starting to get some sprinkles of red in there in some different spots. Now we got sooner road to tinker and there's some road work that's done there at about six o'clock. But the reason we're bringing this up is because some of those side streets are actually seeing some delays there. So we're not sure if that's a direct result because of this, but we are seeing some yellows in that area. Normally six o'clock we'd let that go, but we want to make sure that you got your heads up and that you know where you're getting into as you make your way through that area. Let's get a look outside as well on our cameras for you so you can kind of see for yourself what you're looking at. I-44, 29th, as you look, looking pretty good. Things moving smooth as you never wait more than 10 minutes for traffic and weather together. And we got an investigation underway in Pottawatomie County. Yeah, Fox 25's Jameson Kefover joins us live from Shawnee. Jameson. Well, Adam and Jasmine, this is a rural area. We're on a dirt road here, a gravel road through Northeast Shawnee. But once you hit this point on Crossland Road, it is completely closed for this investigation. The Sheriff's Office of Pottawatomie County is out here. We can see multiple vehicles through this area and it's closed to about MacArthur Street in Northeast Shawnee. So several vehicles over there in between this road closure where you can see they have some buckets and they've got um, some tools out. And then if you look even closer to actually that cross street of MacArthur and Crossland, they have some work lights up and they've got some tools coming out of the, their trunk. I've seen multiple workers out here. It seems like they're kind of setting up. All we know so far is a deputy with Pottawatomie County told us that this is a crime scene investigation, but we don't know the details of of that just yet. They told us that they are getting some information and they are in the thick of this investigation. The under sheriff is here on the scene. I haven't had the opportunity to talk with them yet to see exactly what is going on here. We just know that it is an active crime scene investigation. They have this area blocked off. It's a pretty easy turn if you need to get through this area, but it is extremely rural. We haven't seen any houses on this road. It's mostly farmland and some animals that we can hear in the distance. Distance. But as the sun is coming up, we're starting to see a little bit more of what's going on in this road closure. Just very limited details right now. We'll send it back to you. Thank you, Jameson. We're learning more this morning about a shooting near 122nd and Meridian. This is something we first reported to you on Good Day OK yesterday. Police say a man was shot in the chin while breaking into an apartment. Investigators say the man used to be in a romantic relationship with a woman who lived in the apartment. And police say the man ran off after he was shot and was later taken to a hospital. The DA's office is determining charges. This morning, Oklahoma City police need your help finding this man who's accused of stealing a car. You can see this person loading the victim's car on a trailer on the side of westbound I-40 near Oklahoma City Boulevard. Come and take a look at your screen. If you recognize him, please call Crime Stoppers. That number is 405-235-7300. Police arresting William Allen after he's accused of assaulting a woman and her child. A woman told police she got into an argument with Allen and says Allen choked her and slammed her head into a wall. The woman said when her child tried to intervene, Allen is accused of pointing a gun at them and hitting the woman's son with a belt. 
Police say Allen admitted to the assault but denies pointing a gun. He faces multiple charges. And a former Raising Cane's employee officially charged after she's accused of threatening her manager. Vivian Say was arrested last month after she was accused of making threatening social media posts. She was previously transferred to another Raising Cane's location after threatening a co-worker. She's now charged with threatening a violent act. The Oklahoma County Criminal Justice Authority approved a resolution yesterday to increase staffing. In August, the jail trust approved a resolution to increase workers' pay. A month later, they agreed it's still necessary. Jim Couch says that the Oklahoma County Jail has 305 employees, but they have room for 45 more workers in their budget. The jail hires about 20 people a month, but that's the same amount they lose in that time span. We really need about 400 to do the proper care of the of the uh, detainees and uh, right now with the pay we're even if we were authorized for 400 we can't get them we can't get 350 so we really need to, to raise uh, the pay to be competitive in the, in, in the market and, and give the care that we need to give to our detainees. Right now, a new cadet would make around $3,000 a month. Their pay would go up after meeting requirements and getting more experience. And we asked the jail trust how much raises would be if approved, but we haven't heard back. There will be a job fair at the jail on September. Trying to make up for lost learning during the pandemic data from the U.S. Department of Education shows from 2020 to 2022. We had the biggest dips in decades in both reading and math scores. Now the state offering teachers a two year course called the Science of Reading Academies to help with learning difficulties in reading. The states also offered free math tutoring for students in seventh through ninth grade. A report from nonprofit Pen America getting some new attention this week. Pen America claims Edmond and Bristow Public Schools are banning books that have been taught for decades, but one of the districts says this isn't true. Now, Pen America says Bristow Public Schools banned more than 30 books. The Bristow Public School superintendent says they have restricted some books to appropriately age students, and a senior manager at Pen America considers that to be a ban. There are no books that are completely gone from the school district. That's true, but that is not how a ban is defined either by the American Library Association or by the U.S. Supreme Court or by us, Pan America. Meanwhile, Pan America says Edmond Public Schools banned five books, several of which are classics. But again, the district says they don't ban books and Edmond Public Schools has a statement on this issue that they released. Jasmine has more. Yeah, that's right, Adam. Edmond Public Schools sent Fox 25 this statement saying educators use a variety of texts and supplemental materials in the classroom from authors of all backgrounds and cultures to teach the comprehensive historical events. Now we have that list of uh, books that Adam mentioned here, uh, which are classics on the Pens America's banned list for Edmond Public Schools. They are I Know Why the K Bird Sings by Maya Angelou. Uh, we have Narrative of the Life of Frederick Douglass by Frederick Douglass. A Raising in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. And To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Now, today at 11, we're going to talk with Oklahoma City Superintendent Dr. Sean McDaniel. So you'll want to be here for the Fox 25 News at 11 to get your eyes on that interview. Yeah, the State Department of Education announces new counties have been added to Dolly Parton's Imagination Library. They include Cleveland, McLean, and Pot County. Now, parents can now sign their kids up to get a free book in the mail every month. New this morning, the Oklahoma reports an Indianapolis developer is asking for $2 million in affordable housing assistance to build a complex at the southeast corner of General Pershing Boulevard in May. The Oklahoma City Economic Development Trust approved the request, which would come from a $10 million affordable housing program. The Oklahoma City City Council still needs to approve the request. The state health department says new COVID boosters are arriving in Oklahoma. The shots target the latest Omicron subvariant. Officials say all boosters in people 12 and up will be the new shots or will be able to get that new shot. Older doses won't be available to that age group unless it's for your initial series of vaccines. Experts recommend getting the booster at least two months after your first booster or initial series. The Caring Vans will provide free vaccines for kids who are uninsured, Medicaid eligible or American Indian tomorrow from 9 to noon at the Guatemala Health Fair. A parent or legal guardian must be with all children and must bring a current shot record. Clinics will also have BMI screenings for kids between 2 and 18 years old. 
happening today. The more animal shelters are hosting a special adoption event. You can get your licks on Route 66 National Pet Adoption Tour happening from 11 to 3. Hundreds of cats and dogs will be up for auction and teachers. Scooters Coffee hosting National Teacher Appreciation Day today. Teachers who show a valid school ID get a free drink in any size. Now your Fox 25 Storm Watch forecast from the Muffin Roofing Weather Center. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We're going to be seeing a day pretty similar to yesterday, but a little bit warmer. So our high temperatures this afternoon going to be about five degrees above average 92 degrees in the Oklahoma City Metro mid 90s out to the west and nearing 100 degrees in the panhandle this afternoon. So this morning feeling pretty comfortable out the door. Most locations are actually in the 60s right now. We're at 71 degrees, though, in central Oklahoma, warming up to the eight to the mid 80s by lunchtime. 91 degrees by three o'clock. We're going to have some pretty low humidity and sunny skies. So every day this week is pretty much going to be the same. Perfect weather for football. Looking ahead to Friday night rival game Clinton versus Heritage Hall. It's going to be fantastic. Clear skies kick off in the mid 80s, 78 degrees by that fourth quarter, and it's going to be pretty similar on Saturday uh, in Stillwater where the Cowboys taking on Arizona State kick off at 630, uh, 87 degrees, 77 by that fourth quarter. So it's going to be pretty warm for any tailgating, but other than that, looking good to go for football on Friday and Saturday. Now we do have a cold front making its way on through that might bring with it some rain chances for the second part of your weekend. I'll break it all down here in just 10 minutes. Got a Pike Pass steer clear traffic update for you as we get a look at our map here. Green is the color of the morning here as we get you moving. Get a look at those roads. We got some bridge reconstruction east and westbound I-40 narrowed to two lanes between Sunny Lane Road, Hudeburg Drive, causing just a couple of delays on some of the side streets really by 40 and 270. You can see there as folks are trying to get on and get involved, there's a little bit of backup happening there. Let's get a look outside for you as well so you can see for yourselves here at I-35 and 240. Everybody moving good, looking good. Never wait more than 10 minutes for traffic and weather together. Police investigating an active crime scene in Shawnee. We're going to check back in with Jameson Keefe over in just a minute. But first, let's take outside, get a look at the Harkins to Bricktown camera at 7 Eleven. We'll be right back. It's 7.15. Here's your news to go as you head out this morning. Oklahoma City police need your help finding this man who's accused of stealing a car. You can see this person loading the car on a trailer on westbound I-40 near Oklahoma City Boulevard. If you recognize him, please call Crime Stoppers. That number is 405-235-7300. The Oklahoma County Criminal Justice Authority approved a resolution yesterday to increase staffing. The jail trust chairman says the jail has 305 employees, but they have room for more workers. A job fair at the jail will be hosted on September 15th. And happening today, the Moore Animal Shelter is hosting a special adoption event. The Get Your Licks on Route 66 happens from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Hundreds of cats and dogs will be up for adoption. We're starting our morning out with some of our favorite breakfast foods on the go here. Yeah, that's how you have to do it, Malcolm Tubbs. It looks like he's in the drive-thru at Camps 1910. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That just happened, ladies and gentlemen, live. No, so hanging out here at Camps 1910. Listen, a lot of people forget that Camps has a drive through window, which makes the experience that much sweeter. Now, where's Aaron? Uh, excuse me, concierge. Uh, sir, yeah, there he is. Yo, <laughs> my man. So we can get anything and everything out the window, man? Yes, anything. You can pull up. You can call 230-1910 uh -huh. at any point in time. Yes, I'll sir. take your order. We'll get you service. You can door dash. You can post made it. Just call us. Let's go. And uh, I like how uh, the store hours are right there in the window. So 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. That's a lot of time to be getting all types of stuff. Brother. Man, I got the biggest salads in town. I promise you I uh -huh. got the biggest salad. So, you know, it's really nice. Tacos on Tuesday, fish on Friday. On you know, we got a bunch of good stuff going on here. Plus, we're a locally owned cafe. We're not a franchise. Right. And I got real food. We're going to shave it. Like, you're it's nothing <laughs> frozen and repacked. No, I got real food. Now, uh, real quick, though, Aaron. Now, I know y'all got the bar in the back. Can I get like a, a mimosa to go or something? 
buddy, you can get all sorts of stuff. Okay, but maybe not that, because you know, legally there's loops, holes, yeah, and yeah, windows. Yeah, yeah. We're not in the pandemic anymore, so I'm not sure about my drinks to go, but you can definitely get a mimosa, a margarita, anything. We've got some really good night staff, and y'all should come in and see us. There we go, there we go. Well, guys, come check it out. Pick up all the food and the grub that you could love, and of course, give them a call. They'll be able to hook you up. I guess I'll see you next time. Peace. Back Wait, to you. Malcolm, we got about 20 orders we can give you here yeah. at Fox 25. And if any of the food and drinks are as smooth as that move right there at the window, we're <laughs> all going to be in good shape. <laughs> that was a smooth move by Malcolm Tubbs. For more information on Camp's 1910 Cafe, head to our website, okcfox.com. Yeah, you drove away without ordering. That's the most important part. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. We had a gorgeous sunrise at sunset. Now up here across the Oklahoma City Metro, taking a live look outside of our Skycam network. And we are 71 degrees in Oklahoma City, but 60s in most locations across the state. A nice cool start to your morning once again. So it's going to stay pretty cool here until we get into the afternoon. And then we are going to be looking at our temperatures feeling pretty similar to yesterday. Upper 80s, 89 degrees by 2, 90s as we head later into your afternoon. We'll see plenty of sunshine as well, and that humidity is not going to be too bad either. So 92 degrees going to be our high temperature in Oklahoma City, about five degrees above average. We have mid 90s though out to the west and it's going to be pretty warm in the panhandle today. We're looking at upper 90s, pretty close to 100 degrees for those folks. So it's going to be pretty warm today, but really every day this week going to be pretty similar to the last. So we have a high pressure system, which is causing that for the next couple of days over the Oklahoma, but our next weather maker is going to be a cold front. It's coming through over the weekend, bringing with it some slight cooler temperatures back to closer around average and a very, very small chance for some showers in storms. Now these are going to be really low chances. Most of us are staying dry, but that's the only rain chances we have to talk about for the next seven days. So rain this week, we're mainly talking about from Sunday's cold front. So it's going to be in northern Oklahoma, far western Oklahoma as well. These are going to be really low chances and we're only talking about up to a quarter of an inch of rain. So not a big soaker from the system, if anything at all, but again, Again, that's really the only rain we have to talk about. We do have some new long range outlooks and unfortunately, folks, it is showing us at about above normal temperatures for the next six to 10 days as we go further into the month of September and below average when it comes to our rainfall amount. So it's a good thing we got some rain in here at the beginning of the month because we don't have too many more opportunities here over the next seven days. At least we're going to be in the 90s, low 90s really through Saturday. We got some good football weather, though, for Friday night rivals and for Saturday. Saturday's game at OU up in Stillwater. Plenty of sunshine as well. Then that cold front makes its way on through for your Sunday. Very low rain chances once again, so I wouldn't cancel those outdoor plans. But our temperatures are back into the 80s. Enjoy that cold front because it's going to be pretty short lived of a cool down. We're back in the 90s by Wednesday. Pike Pass steer clear traffic update for you. There is your map as we get going here. Starting to see a couple of spots, maybe with some issues down 35 down south here. But other than that, we got a lot of green, a lot of good going on out there on the roads. Hey, bridge rehab here down to one lane at Airport Road between MacArthur Boulevard and I-44, 62 miles an hour right now. And you can kind of see some of the side streets as well are starting to get backed up a little bit. Um, that is a little bit slower than what we saw earlier this morning, but not by a whole lot. So right now things still looking pretty good for you out there. Let's get a look at our cams for you. I-235 and 6th. Things looking good, going smooth, even a little sunrise in the background there for you. You never wait more than 10 minutes for traffic and weather together. 7.20 is your time. Police investigating an active crime scene in Shawnee. We're going to check back in with Jamison Kefover in a few minutes. Let's take you back outside. You can see that sun that Adam was talking about. Make sure you grab your sunglasses. You're definitely going to need it today. Keep it here. You're watching Good Day OK.